So I'm sure by now a lot of you, and that means most if not all of you, have seen the rumored main event for SummerSlam. You've seen it, and deep, deep down, you probably knew this was going to be the path the WWE headed down. What am I talking about? Well, spoiler alert, even though it's technically a rumor, and to give the old melts or qualifier, plans are always subject to change, but how often are they really truly subject to change in WWE? Especially when it revolves around the main event of big four pay-per-views. Not that subject to change, typically. The main event for SummerSlam is reportedly going to be... Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar for the Universal title. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh. My. God. To the surprise, I'm sure, of just about absolutely none of you. The WWE just can't quit this. The WWE just can't help themselves. It's like it's a fetish. It's a fetish for seeing Reigns and Lesnar touch each other like men in manly yet suspect fashion in a wrestling ring by the WWE, and also a fetish with trying to troll and fuck with the adult hardcore fans who really, probably, don't want to see this match now or ever, <laughs> ever again. But lo and behold, wouldn't you know, that's exactly the path they're going down. And my thing is this. If you do that then, just to sit there and do the title change, then you once again, as a company, are emphasizing just how much so much of what you do is one gigantic flipping waste of time. Because you lack the balls, the guts, to make the decision at WrestleMania, even though everything you had done and building up to that point indicated you were doing it, so that way you didn't do it because ultimately you were cowards. No other real logical reasoning here, no other long-term story. You can take all that and stick it where the sun don't shine. The only reason the WWE didn't make the move at WrestleMania to have Lesnar drop the strap and Roman take the strap is they were scared. They were blah, 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 fucking cowards. Period. No other excuse, no other defense, no other justification. Pure, flat out, unadulterated cowardice. And the thing always comes back to, to me with this. If Reigns is your guy, then Reigns is your guy. Don't go sitting there and tiptoeing through the clitoris. You gotta plow through the vag on this. You either go all the way or none at all. None of the foreplay and semi-stimulation. We just go straight into banging sausage into biscuits. You got me? But when you sit there and you hedge your bets and you sit there and you are indecisive and you sit there and don't pull the trigger at your biggest show of the year, why would the fans who already have reasons not to like Roman Reigns, specifically the direction his character is going and the, what his character is and how the WWE features and presents him, why in the hell would they feel any more inclined to respect the dude as a top dude if you're not even confident enough as a company to go all the way with him? I mean, to use a sex analogy... You're getting to second base, rounding, thinking about heading for a triple. When you need to be sliding into home. Dick first, okay? It'd be kind of odd to see you do that on a baseball field. I, I grant you, but do you get what I'm saying here? And my, my thing is this. Is the whole thought of trying to build up a story here for a match between these two at SummerSlam. What's the story? What, that Roman Reigns who's been bitching and moaning about conspiracies and authority holding him down and him getting screwed gets yet another freaking chance? What's the story here? He lost to him at WrestleMania. He lost to him at the Greatest Royal Rumble, even if you did it in a way that is controversial, that opens the door for another return match. Ultimately, where's the freaking story there? And what's so ridiculous about this now is 
potentially doing that title change four plus months later after it was originally designed to and originally planned to does nothing but make the situation worse. Because if Roman is going to be that dude, then again, like I emphasized a moment ago, he needs to be that dude. You can't go tiptoeing through the tulips. You've got to smell the freaking roses. And you have to be determined and confident and stubborn no matter what, because that's how the WWE operates. They would have never vacillated like this with Cena. There is no way in hell they would have ever done it. So if you're going to try and feature Roman in a lot of ways like Cena, you're going to make him the Samoan Cena 2.0, then you need to go with that. You need to actually do that, not kind of half to three quarters asset, which is exactly what they're doing. So now you get to SummerSlam, and you kind of make Roman look weak and pathetic, and you make the roster to me kind of look weak and pathetic, which some of you are going to say, well, it kind of already looks weak and pathetic. And frankly, I'm with you, so how much does it really matter? But now it's taken all of these times in order for him to beat Brock Lesnar. It just makes Brock Lesnar look stronger when he's realistically not going to be there anymore. And you make the dude that's supposed to be the dude kind of look like a freaking chump. Or what you say at SummerSlam is you go with this match and then maybe Roman does win, but he immediately has somebody cash in on him. Or you go into this match and you don't have Roman win and then you have the Money in the Bank winner cash in. Then what again was the fucking point of all of this? You already did that finish at WrestleMania 31 with Reigns Lesnar won when you sat there and had Seth Rollins cash in. And don't get me wrong, at the time it was absolutely the right decision. I advocated for it for months. I supported it and I still feel like to this day it was the right decision at that time. There was more interest and intrigue there going with that as the finish because if nothing else, it did create something that you had never seen before at WrestleMania. The young upstart beating the established dude, you see that shit all the time. How many WrestleManias have had those types of matches? How many WrestleManias have closed with those type of matches? How many WrestleManias have ever closed the main event with the Money in the Bank winner cashing in successfully? One. That's more important, that's more significant, more meaningful, and more, frankly, more memorable. But now if you sat there and did that in SummerSlam 2018, that is the height, the epitome of chicken shit booking 101. You lack so much confidence in Rome, and even though you sit there and pretend like it doesn't matter, and you act like it doesn't matter, but then you do care, and it does matter to you, and you act like it matters on the other hand, to sit there and now put yourself in this position yet again to set yourself up for another main event at a big four pay-per-view that will get booed out of the fucking building yet again just so that way you can once again pull out game real strong and sit there and nut on somebody fucking else. Are you going to have freaking Braun or somebody cash in? In that type of circumstance or situation, it's all one waste of time and everything looks stupid. It looks stupid for Lesnar to not actually put somebody over clean on the way out. It looks stupid because Roman, after all these opportunities and chances, still can't get the freaking championship, even though you know he's supposed to be the guy. And then you have somebody else coming in on the flip side and cashing in as the Money in the Bank winner. And especially, like I said, if it was somebody like a Braun Strowman, that's kind of a punk-ass, bitch-ass way for him to win it, which is the exact opposite of how a guy like him should win it. He should be winning it by calling his shot, pulling an RVD type of thing, and declaring ahead of time he's cashing in his opportunity and actually planning for it and trying to win it clean. Ultimately, the WWE wants to do this. It's a creation of their own stupidity. It is just going to be a device for us to rage against this dumbass company even more. But when all is said and done, does it really fucking matter? They're still going to get a shit ton of money from their new TV deals. People are still going to go to the shows. People are still subscribing to the WWE Network. The WWE Network numbers aren't terrible. They're not what they should be, no matter what the company says, especially based off of the alleged size of the audience and their international reach, distribution, and scope. But still solid numbers, and they can fudge the numbers to make their profits look pretty good. 
Does it really matter? And that's one of the things I really struggle with now as a wrestling fan, trying to stubbornly hold on to and cling to whatever remaining fleeting passion I have left for this and I have left for this form of entertainment, this business, is that it really doesn't matter whether it's good or bad. It really doesn't matter, at least from a WWE perspective, it really doesn't matter if it's sensible or not. It just doesn't. But you can't tell me this shit is good. You can't tell me this shit is interesting. You can't tell me this shit is compelling. You can't tell me that you're reasonably expecting me to find entertainment value out of this. But then again, does it matter? Sure doesn't seem like it. But if you're going to do it, WWE, do it. Fucking get there. And you have Roman Reigns squash Brock Lesnar. You don't sit there and fiddle fuck and fumble fuck around with a 15 or 20 minute match. Because if you do, it adds to the element of he looks even weaker. It looks even more idiotic. And you're making Lesnar look too strong on the way the fuck out of the company. After all these times and all these chances and all these opportunities, Roman needs to finally go over Brock Lesnar. And if he does it at SummerSlam, it needs to be a squash match. That's the only way you have. The only way you have. And even then, that's no guarantee of anything. But that is the only way you have to salvage anything out of this entire circle jerk of a clusterfuck of a gigantic, ginormous waste of everybody's damn time. Throughout 2018 and hell even dating back before that. He has to squash Brock Lesnar. No money in the bank cashing in. No competitive bullshit. This is your final chance if that's where you're going, which I believe you are, to go balls deep. Go balls deep, WWE. Shoot that Roman Reigns cream pie all up inside the wrestling fans. Yeah, that's about enough of talking like that. That's what's got to happen. If you're going to do it, you want to get nuts, then actually get nuts! Anyways, remember I'm the Schleg Daddy. This is OTRS Central. As the t-shirt says, that you should buy! Not the wrestling show you want, just the wrestling show you need. Later.